Now, when are fish and chips not fish and chips? Well, the answer has to do with banana blossom and the news that there's been an increase in veganism and vegetarianism, which is fueling one of the biggest changes in our eating habits. It's a market that mainstream shops and restaurants are increasingly catering for. Spotlight's John Danks has been finding out why the new foodies are taking meat and dairy out of their diets, starting with a Plymouth restaurant, which is about to add vegan fish and chips to the menu. There's fish and chips, and there's vegan fish and chips. OK, so this is the vegan fish and chips, vegan tartar sauce, vegan mashed peas, and I think it'll be really good. And we use the banana blossom. Once they're cooked, they look like uh, fish, and the texture is between hake, skate, and hus. And if you close your eyes, the same. You, you, you say, wow, it's like fish, you know? This Plymouth fish restaurant has done its market research and believes that vegan food could account for 10% of its takings in the future. Fish and chips is the nation's favourite dish and a few of my vegan friends asked me when am I going to start doing vegan dishes. So I started looking into vegan fish and chips and that's why I'd like to offer it really. And that market research continued with a taste test on the Barbican. What you, you just asked Lovely. the wrong... Mm. I'd eat it. Oh, that is really nice. It's mm. Certainly different. I would have known, actually. That's good. Mm. Oh, it's yes, OK. Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very, very nice. Very <laughs> good. Where do you get your protein from? I mean, do you look like you were like lacking in protein? All plant foods have all nine essential amino acids, so you're not going to be protein deficient. Why is it you suddenly become a nutritionist when you, you know meet what, a though? vegan and you're not one? The vegan lifestyle may be hard for some to understand, but attitudes are changing. And that's certainly been felt by the owners of this vegan restaurant. We opened up um, five years ago now. That was basically due to not being able to eat out anywhere locally, um, not being comfortable in the knowledge that there was going to be no cross-contamination in the kitchen. There's more available in supermarkets now, including like a range of cheeses. And it's young people like Beth and her friends that are leading the charge. Even the ones that aren't necessarily vegan take you know, actions in their life to maybe not eat meat on certain days and to not have things that are tested on animals and stuff like that. So there is definitely more of a conscious use about it. John Danks, BBC Spotlight, Plymouth.